Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Recruiter Talk with myself, Melanie, and uh, Liz over here. Today, we brought on a very special guest, um, our colleague, Mr. Ron Welter. So, Ron, do you want to give us a brief little introduction about yourself? Certainly. Thank, thank you for having me on. Uh, my name is Ron Welter. Uh, I am Vice President of Delivery at Hawkins Point Partners. I am a consultant. I still, still spend time in the field and spending it at some large and small biopharma companies working on IT projects and sometimes project in the different business areas within the biopharmaceutical company. And you've been with, uh, for, with Hawkins Point for how many years? Well, Hawkins Point was founded in December 2012, and I joined in October 2013. Okay. So I feel lucky as like an employee for. So it's been fun to be part of the growth and you know, all the progress that we've made you know, from, from that time. And looking back, that's, that's seven years, so nearly seven years. So that's, that's actually quite a, bit of, quite a bit of time. Yeah, that's amazing to be through, have seen this whole journey from the start to where we are now. Yeah, yeah. So how can I help you today? So we wanted to have you on. We just wanted to pick your brain just a little bit. Okay. Um, we just wanted to talk to you about, obviously you are a consultant. So mm -hmm. we wanted to just learn a little bit more about consulting from a consultant. Uh, not so much learn a bit more, but just talk about it a little bit more. So what do you like most about consulting? Um, I like the flexibility. I like the change there's always something new to learn. There, there are challenges. For instance, when you go from one client to another, you have to learn their personality, you know, their organizational structure, you know, what's important to them individually as well as as a company. And every, every company and every group within a company has their own nuances. So there, there is a bit of work being adoptable to change uh, in that way as you come into those new experiences. But the the plus side of that is that there's always something new. As a consultant, I could be one client spending time, say in the research area, working on IT systems for laboratory information management systems. Uh, I could also be at that company in the commercial space working on some IT systems to support their commercial launch. I could be at another company working on high performance computing, with large data sets or in the development area, preparing them, you know, how they run a clinical trial. So to me, all that flexibility, all that learning uh, opportunity in realizing that if you're in a situation where you, know, you struggle or may not be the best fit, or it may not be as comfortable, that there's a time period, you know, that, that you won't be there forever. Likewise, if you're in an area where you really enjoy and really like, you realize that you may not be there forever so you really appreciate all that you can learn and try to get the most out of it so it really comes down to the opportunity to learn the change the variability that that really i find you know, most attractive and most comfortable yeah i hear that actually a lot with um people that i talk to who are who are consultants or mm -hmm. who are looking to become consultants they like the change they like expanding their knowledge learning different areas and um just facing different challenges so um i think you i think you're right you have to have that that personality um and like that type of work and that's not to say that there aren't opportunities to learn when you're a full-time employee at a company right from my experience in the past you would have a scope of, of different things you could work on different uh you know, challenges based on the group or organization you are in when compared to consulting though, you'll go to new organizations, you go to, to new areas, and you have the opportunity to stretch yourself more to learn things that you wouldn't have learned otherwise, or you get to apply things in new and different ways. And it's rewarding when you find out that what you've learned in one area, that that is important and that you could use somewhere else. And one thing I do think it's really important to point out as well, I know consulting, you know, you get to go different places, learn new things. But one thing that's really cool about Hawkins Point Partners specifically is most of our consultants, even though they are, you know, sometimes going to different client sites, they're full-time employees. So mm -hmm. there's no, they get that, that stability as well, which is really nice. 
And that is something, you know, thank you for bringing that up, that I have enjoy as well, that I like, I'm conservative by nature. So being a full-time employee is something important to me with all of the, you know, the, the benefits and everything associated with that, yet I still get to experience the changes and the challenges going through the different clients as a consultant. Yeah. You, you mentioned also about, uh, about the changes, and I thought you were gonna go to the travel. So that's one area where we're also lucky that all of our clients are locally based right now, and some consultants do need to travel a lot. I've been in situations where I would have to be full-time on the road every week, and to me, that's not something I would wanna do long-term. Mm -hmm. So depending on you know, one of the downsides of consulting could be travel based on the situation or it could be a positive. Some people really like to travel for a period of time. So then you have the opportunity to, to travel more. Yeah. Our I think that's kind of what those are like the two things that at least from my experience stand out to the people that I talk to is that we're local to Boston, the greater Boston area. So again, all of our clients are, are here and the fact that we do provide that stability um, to be a salary based employee, because I think a lot of people assume that being a consultant isn't, isn't salaried, isn't full time. Um, but for us, again, that stability is super important for our employees. I know I wish we were filming right before we started filming and we got to, sh the dog came in right now as we were talking about that. You know, you get to spend more time with the dog, things that are important, you know? Well, yeah. and at this time, we do need to be flexible. So we did have our dog just run in and you know, give me some attention and I give her some attention. And so now I get to get back to work and she gets to go outside and <laughs> play around. There, there, there are pros at this time that we're in right now. Yeah, you know. I love being able, I know I love spending time with my dog right now, but I'm pretty sure my dog misses other dogs. So yes. it's tough, but we have come to that time. And okay. what I want to do is play a little game. If you're up oh, it's favorite one. time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at these games, please. It's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll make it easy for you. So last week okay. we did a game where, you, where Melanie had to give me all the wrong answers. So we're going to make it easier for you. And all I want you to do is just give me the right answers. Okay. I mean, I have them, but I'll try. Okay. Right. Let's go. So what is your greatest fear? Uh, going blind. What is the best place you've traveled to? That would be Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Is what nice. island? It is nice. uh, the Big Island with Oahu. Oh, okay. Oahu. Yeah. <laughs> what is the weirdest job you've ever had? <laughs> well, when I was 16, my first real job, I uh, worked at a meat market, a delicatessen, and I would be the one that would grind up the meat and make the sausages and you know clean up after it and it's it, some of the things I worked on then were working on some big machines you're not allowed to work on now so it was interesting at that time what is your favorite holiday that must be the fourth of July you know there's no real expectations mm -hmm. you, know, you don't have to buy presents you don't have to buy gifts you just just go out and you just didn't you know watch some fireworks that's my favorite holiday too is the fourth of July barbecues and fireworks <laughs> love it can't beat it. Excellent. <laughs> what is your favorite sport? Oh, that would definitely be hockey. So I grew up playing hockey. I won an award with Bobby Orr. And I got my picture with him. So th that was pretty cool. And last question. Do you prefer the beach or the lake? I would prefer the lake. The lake. Yes. yes. The beach. I, I don't know what it is. That too much sun just isn't good for me. I, that way at the lake, I can go hide under a tree easier. <laughs> well, those well, are all the questions. Do, yeah. Did I do okay? You did you good. Did thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you again, Ron, for joining us on our second episode of Recruiter Talk. And um, we're going to try to get videos up once a week for you guys. So if you have any suggestions on topics or anything, please let us know. But again, thank you so much for your time. You and, uh, I love working with you guys. I really appreciate having you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes, right. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> Bye.